Hello guys, Zuldian here and welcome back to another episode of Savage Lands. I hope you all are having an awesome day and I want to say thanks for the amazing support on the channel guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show your support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So, I know y'all were probably getting frustrated with me last time because there was a recipe for tannin that I didn't even bother to look at and it's made with bark. So, yeah, I totally missed that. It's unfortunate. Um, I gotta figure out why I can't make it though. Aha, uh -huh, it's a crafting table that's required. Okay, so yeah, I, uh, I'm recording this in bulk before I leave for packs. So there's a lot of things that I'm seeing here or I'm doing here that you probably are commenting on that, um, that I, can't really, I can't really follow through with. So hopefully I'm, uh, I'm receptive enough <laughs> to do this. So let's see. Tannin, there it is. Bam, we got 12 tannin. There's a lot we could do with that, y'all. There's a lot we could do that. Namely, let's see. Let's grab some skins here. It's a little bit dark. Wasn't there a torch that we can do? Like, can, couldn't we get a torch? Um, What was I looking for here? I needed the animal skins. Yeah, here we go. We can make leather out of those. More. Good. I wish I could break down things that I already have. There's some wolf pelts. We're going to need to hunt for wolves if we want fur stuff, too. They're probably a little bit more dangerous to take care of, but for the most part, we're pretty good. Okay, we got animal skins. We got all that. Uh, let's take a look at... Well, it's almost daytime. I'm not going to bother building a fire. Uh, it's just a waste of resources unless we need some. I do want to look at uh, making a torch, though. So, let's see. Is there anything... Torch. Torch is made with a couple flint, uh, a couple cloth shreds, and some wood sticks. That isn't really bad. Next time we see flint, well, we should have all of that, honestly. So let's see here. Let's grab... I know we need some wood sticks. We'll get that. I know we need some flint. I think we only need a couple of that, but I could stack it. And um, cloth strips, which we need... What, sundered cotton for? We created almost bandages for just about everything so far. All right, claw shreds. All right, and now we should be able to make a torch, a dim torch. Let's make it. Sweet, it's made. All right, unless I need to chop trees, I really don't need the axe on me. And now that I have the rest of the stuff done, uh, I can drop those items. Okay. So, now we have tannin, we have all the good stuff now. Also, let, let's equip this bad boy and see. Huh. I, if I right click, I'll put it out in front of me. <laughs> that's neat, you don't wave it or anything. <laughs> okay, that's, that's cool. Alright, so, let's see here. We can make leather hides now. Let's go ahead and make them. I don't think we need regular animal skins for anything, and even if we do, we can just go get that. Alright, now that we have that, we can make leather strips. Let's make one set of those. Now let's look at armor. Okay, now we don't have gauntlets, right? So I guess, let's see what we need. For leather gauntlets, we would need sinew. So let's get some of that. Also, we, can, we may be able to make some better uh, well, I don't know if we could make some some tin stuff too. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab our tin. I'm gonna get this whetstone out of here because I don't need it right now. Um, let's grab that and let's grab the sinew. I don't know if I need the strong sinew or not. Let's go ahead and put away uh, the clay and we'll do. And we have strong sinew. Where's that at? Uh, did I already have leather strips? I did have leather strips. I might as well stack them. And uh, where is that strong sinew? We do have some more animal skins that we can tan if we need to as well. In fact, I should probably do that. But hold on. I don't see the strong sinew. It looks just like a circle like the rest of it. Maybe I'm not far enough into the... Aha, uh, uh -huh, there we go. Strong sinew. I don't know if I'll need it, but I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Okay, I'm fairly confident we can do something now. All right, uh, wrong menu, K, okay. 
leather shield. So we can do a leather shield, which is not ideal. We can do leather... Let's see about 10. We can do 10 gauntlets if we did bag of 10 rings. Um, 10 rings. Bag of... Bag of 10 rings. We would need... We can do that. We just gotta have to go to closer to the forge. Apparently we didn't... We couldn't do that yet. Okay. Let's get rid of this meat because it's just raw boar meat right now. And we'll do a bag of 10 rings. Craft that. And now under armor, we should... Yeah. 10 gauntlets. Um, so they... It does give some damage reduction as well as some warmth. I think we ought to do it. I think we ought to do it, y'all. Okay. So now we're we're technically we're fully armored now. We have we have the fur is actually better than the the other stuff. I think the next step would probably be copper. Let's see. The damage reduction on a fur curious is 15 and the warmth is 6. Uh let's see what the tin curious would be. Um, 10. Damage reduction is only 10, and warmth is only 3. Yeah, I could say, <laughs> beyond the shadow of a doubt, that the fur is better. Um, good. The next thing, the only thing that I would like that I don't have right now, I think, is a 10 axe to do, um, tree chopping. So let's see here. 10 axe. Uh, 10 hatchet, that's what I want. Uh, one tin ingot and one wood stick. What is going on? The, there's squealing going on here. Okay, let's make a tin ingot. Also, we can look at small pouches now. Okay, we already have... Wow, I hear... Oh my god! What the heck? Oh, it's... It totally... What is this? Dude! Are you Are you kidding me right now? I thought it was just a boar getting attacked. What in the world is this thing? A horn and some boar... It was like... Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Let's put the bark down too. Good lord, man. That's scared the crap out of me all right let's uh let's go in the house and warm up and get our health back now jeez i don't even know what that was but it freaked me the heck out <laughs> oh my god all right let's do one more bandage shall we and we can afford to eat some meat too all right that'll clear up some inventory space and get everything good all right i don't even know what we were doing anymore we were going to check about, um, we, we got the tin ingot that we need. What else did we need for what we were crafting? We needed, uh, oh, okay, a torn rust sack. That's even bigger. It has six slots. That's really, really cool. Um, bag, bag, no, those are bag. Okay, iron rivets, bark. I'm looking for any possible, like, materials. Tannin Tattered Bag. Tattered Bag is five slots. Okay, so this is definitely, this other recipe is definitely better. Uh, torn Rusak. Uh, let's do it. Leather Hide and, and Regular Sin. We could do more. Oh, man, this is nice. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Um, we can do another one, too. Look at that. We'll be able to gather like madmen now. The bad thing is losing some of this stuff would be really rough. Um, but I think that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so I do want to test out. I want to. I want to finish out fleshing out the uh, the village here. Let's see. We would need more planks for this and six more bags of nails. So let's make that happen. Uh, bags of nails. Okay. We need... And that made only two. We need a couple more tin ingots. But we would need more coal to do that. 
Did I drop any coal earlier right here? I know where to get more. It's not that big of a problem. Yeah, we have plenty of coal. We have plenty of coal. No problems. Okay. Let's, uh, if I don't keep press, if I don't stop pressing the wrong button here, um, 10 ingots and bag of nails. All right, we should have enough for just about everything now. Let's make this thing work. Um, there's all the nails. Now I'm going to need to go and I still want to get that, uh, that tin hatchet too. So let's see. That's where we were at before. Good lord. Um, tin hatchet. That requires one stick, one sinew, and one ingot. Yeah, this happens quite often, guys. I get sidetracked. <laughs> okay? Just get over it. Tin ingot. Alright. One sinew and one stick. I think. Don't I have the sinew? Oh, it's just the strong sinew I have. Alright. Um, I'm gonna need this. All right. All right, I can do this with my left hand here. Need a stick. Oh, you could get frost berries from the bushes too. I never got a frost berry from doing any of this. All I ever got was sticks. Oh man, I know you guys were probably raging last episode, then. <laughs> My bad, you guys. I'm figuring it out, though. It's a new game. And like I said before in other games, I don't just read the wiki uh, to figure everything out. All right. I do need some regular old sinew, which... Can't I make that? I think I can. Sinew. I can make it with regular animal skins, which I do have. And I thought... We wouldn't need without turning them into leather. Uh, it turns out that we do. Okay. So, animal skins, right? Then I'm always going to press it. <laughs> always. Okay, sinew. Let's make it. Beautiful. It makes three at a time. That's good. Um, just out of curiosity. Small pouch is four. Okay. Already knew. Uh, okay. Okay. Why doesn't it bring me to the top? What am I missing here? It was a tin hatchet. And I have everything that I... Uh-huh. I know what I'm missing. The dadgum blacksmith. And I pressed the eye again. God, somebody help me. Tin hatchet. Nice. It's made. Okay, I can drop the stone hatchet. The tin hatchet goes here. Okay, that's beautiful, man. That really is beautiful. I can drop the stone hatchet. I can always use it later. That's wonderful. Also, we still need to get the chest going. And I said that I really wanted to make that a couple episodes ago, I think. So, let's see here. Um, a wooden chest. Altogether, we're going to need one more coal and two more logs. I hope I have some more coal. If not, I need to go get some right quick. Yeah, I do have some more coal. Good. Um, and we need... I got logs already. That's good. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's just make it. Wooden chest. I need to go buy the workbench to do it. Unbelievable. Wood chest. I made it. Alright, did I just drop it? View contents. Uh, oh, look at the stuff that you can... Oh, I need to pick it up. Oh, I can't... Why can't I pick it up? Um... Oh, you can. Can you? I can't just put it in my regular... Oh, maybe it has to go into my regular... There we go. That's... That's kind of str that's a strange mechanic, but oh well, I'll I'll accept it. Okay, so let's see here. Let's put. Can we place it? How about if I put it in my action slot? Will it let me place? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna have to just throw it down. If this isn't the strangest mechanic 
that I ever saw. Yep. <laughs> you can't place it. It's just like the... You know what? I ain't complaining, y'all. I'm not going Can we shift click? Enter new stack size? No. Can we control click? No. You just have to drag. Oh my gosh. Well, at least our stuff ain't gonna be all over the ground anymore. I'm actually really, really proud of this development here. <laughs> I know it's a it's a very small um very 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 small thing. I don't I don't know why we even put it inside when all of the uh the good stuff is actually on outside. But Okay, let's let's just start picking it up, huh? Dang, can I shift click here? We can shift click some of it. I suppose the new stack size. Yeah, this doesn't translate over too well. For the anything that's stacked, so anything that has a, a number behind it, uh, that's not a one, we pretty much just should drag and drop. All right. The rest we could drag and drop. I do love that we can actually do this too. This is nice, man. Oh no. Is that the dragon or is that something else? There's so much stuff. I've been collecting stuff so long. Alright. <laughs> Storm's coming anyway, though. Uh, view contents. That's so weird that you can't. Oh, I should be shift-clicking some of this too, huh? No, you can't shift-click into an inventory. That's really something they should allow. That really is. So that is a huge, huge thing, man. Alright. More frost berries. Another thing is it would allow you to stack without looking at a specific slot. Which I think would be really, really important too. Okay, we got a few bags going here, ladies and gentlemen. We got food we got materials we got a full suit of armor we could really start doing some exploration now i do feel in fact the rest of this stuff i'm gonna i'm just gonna mess with later uh i think i think we're pretty good off let's go ahead and get a uh a bandaging going it is snowing right now it's probably not the best time to depart I think you know what let's go anyway the storm should clear up relatively quick I'm gonna just use maybe this will help with warmth I, I do have a full suit of armor now too it could be time to take on the skeleton but I don't think so <laughs> I think I would rather a tin sword which is something I want to look into I don't know how much damage it would do because um, we have a battle axe the, the tin sword might be pretty good for um, for speed, and we could possibly do a shield as well. But I would like to find something a little bit different here. And I have no idea where I'm going because of the cold. Am I in the water here? No? Okay. You know, it's probably a bad idea for me to go out in the storm too because I'm not too sure how to get back. Maybe I could go infinitely in one direction and see what happens. Um, didn't I need some flint? I did need some flint. I did need a little bit of flint for things like my torch. There was a few other things. Some fire. That's another thing that I needed to farm. Being able to build a fire on the fly. And the storm's over just like that. Well, I'm glad I stayed out then. I'm glad I stayed out. All right. There's Worms Reach. I don't think it's a good idea to go in there. It's either this place or the other one, though. Of course, I don't. I haven't really gone real far outside of that. Well, we already know where Worms Reach is. Let's see if we can just. We're not gonna worry about coal here. We do have some coal already. We'll just warm our bones right here. This will warm us up really quick. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to go up to that tower. I think we're just asking for trouble. The dragons, they, I, don't, I don't think there's anything in that tower that we can, like, do a suicide run with. <laughs> I would rather not lose all my armor to something that I had no chance of defeating. 
you know like the skeleton that's something that I know I can run away from uh, through trial and error I've found that all right we could take a look at these ruins back here which I think would be the best the best deal here I know you're tired. I'm gonna. I'll let you relax. This bridge. I've never gone across this bridge. Maybe this is a good place to um to go. Maybe this is pretty good. Better than crafting all episode again. Uh, there's a floating piece of paper here. Uh, by the decree of the elders, Miltok and Lord Commander Kroll, this portal shall remain closed to ensure the continued safety of Snowmere from incursion by Fredlin's abominations. The Lord Commander's presence and sanction is required to reopen it for any reason. It doesn't look like it's, uh... Unless they called... Unless there was a portal there before. Uh, that's what they said, a portal. I was just thinking it was an entranceway, but you never know. It might be an actual portal, like... Magical, purple, bluish, glowing thing that you can teleport from one place to another with. Alright. I'm very, very cautious. I'm... Well, I'm being very cautious about uh, anything that doesn't look like something that I've killed before, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking a look here because I don't know. It's a shame that I can't see further in. I don't know if I should go to the next, across the next bridge or what. There might be some rare materials around here. Like, what if we could get copper or something like that, you know? And I would just be passing it up. What do, what happens when we hit this? Nothing. Doesn't appear to be... Mineable. Okay. We'll continue across the way here. I do need to eat. Did I bring any food? I made a dire mistake by not bringing food. I could... Uh, you know what, though? I could punch berries... Uh, I could break berry bushes and get those uh, berries. So I'm actually gonna uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, bushes action. Okay, there's another book here. Uh, the invasion of Torvus. In time, the riches of Torvus attracted the attention of outsiders. The great and enigmatic ig dragons and brave human adventurers arrived on the island shores. Naturally, what started as a coexistence soon blossomed into a bloody war and conflict as the neighbor fell one neighbor. That sucks. Uh, okay. I think these just these things that look like dead bushes won't yield any snowberries. But the ones that are like leafy will. I'm looking for some leafy type stuff. Maybe I'll actually just find some animals too. But we would need to find fire to cook those, or make fire, which might not be a bad thing. Coming this far out, having a little fire to retreat to might be pretty good. Is this a node of any kind? This is a node. What is it then? Is it flat? That's just regular old clay? Wait, it's a clay rock? Uh, yeah. I'll do that just for the sake of the speed of getting it, because clay it takes so long to get just hitting on a regular rock. Oh man, that's pretty good. That's pretty. N oh, what in creation is that? What? <laughs> that thing looks dangerous. How about? I just avoid it. <laughs> How about I just avoid it? It has four legs, so it could probably chase me down and destroy me. Also, I wish I would see like a makeshift fire that I could just add materials to around here. Good lord. Okay, there is a small little island here. Let's check out the island. Because there's a bridge here, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good place or not. Is there anything that I'm missing here? What is this? Looks like a little bit of ruins, but nothing that was left behind. There are a few berry bushes. I know we're gonna need those. There's that crazy wolf again, too. Uh, bark. We need 
eat berries, man. I don't think we're gonna have much of a choice. We're gonna have to kill something. That bridge just went nowhere, basically. What it did do, though, is allow me to, um... That's something, too! What is that? It doesn't... That doesn't look ferocious. It looks kind of... It looks kind of emaciated, though. That actually looks... Yeah, they're domestic. Well, I don't know about domestic. <laughs> they're, uh... They're not evil. They're not aggressive. And I gotta find some berry bushes immediately before my health goes too far down. Wooden sticks. See how uncommon berries are to get snowberries from these? Oh my god, there's another one of those things. That does not look like a domesticated animal, and it looks hungry. It looks very hungry. I don't know what I could get from it. Although, they're probably less threatening than the, um... Than the skeleton I fought. Honestly, the skeleton had a mace and it was glowing red. <gasps> Speaking of skeleton, why am I less scared of that thing than those things? Why is that, you guys? Why does my brain work like that? There's something over there that I want to see. Oh, man. I need to find food. You hear me? Food game. Looks like there's some more clay around here. I could just make another fire and kill some animals. It's probably what I should do. There's actually there's there's something for real over there too. There's like a building or whatever. Um Man, is that a town? Don't tell me that's like broken down or burnt down and just hasn't rendered in properly yet. You know how that was with my, my other place? You know, they got lights and all kind of stuff around here. What? Oh no. There's some bad sounds. Last time I heard bad sounds, I got killed. That's one of them cat things, huh? Isn't it? Hold on. Okay, you can actually fix this place up too? It gives me a warmth. Is there anything that I could use to cook in here? Oh, man. Well, I think we're at least at a good spot, you guys. I think I'm going to call this the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you did. Oh, look. That's what it is. We're going to see what they are next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgin signing off. And we'll see you next time.